Crystal Wick here with Art Beats Cafe and Cynthia. <laughs> hey, Crystal, what's the favorite, favorite, favorite inspiration and sidekick? Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. We do have a good time. Yes, we do. We do. I hope for everybody out there, all you Art Beaters, I hope you have a pal like Cynthia because I'm telling you, seriously, you inspire, <laughs> you you can we can use each other as sounding boards to go. Do you like this design? I don't know about this design. You can yes. get in trouble together. Oh my gosh, which we have. So I hope you all have a pal like Cynthia. It's really fun to brainstorm all the time like that, and, isn't it? And to get ideas bouncing. Each yeah, because yes. husbands don't always understand those sorts of things. <laughs> oh. Well, today we have. Oh my gosh, embellishing with fabrics. Yes. <gasps> Embellishing with fabrics. So, so this takes me way back. Okay, this is kind of how I started in the industry was by making fabric beads. First mm -hmm. book, it did really well. I had the best time with that book, and that's when Cynthia and I met. Right. It feels like eons ago, but it really wasn't. And I was making beautiful fabrics out of silks, and I was hand painting them and foiling them and doing all mm -hmm. kinds of fabric techniques, which I talked about in my book. And then I would give classes, and I would sell my fabrics. And Cynthia was one of the purchasers. Yes. And she has fabrics that are, I call them vintage now, because you can't get them, because these hands aren't making them anymore. So it's like... We had to go yes. dig through the archives to get the fabrics. Oh and oh my gosh, I have to say, I had the most fun making these fabrics. It's kind of like, if you're a Faberholic or a Fiberholic, they're not mm -hmm. the same. But if you're one of one of those, it just never leaves you. Even if you find something else that you love, like jewelry right. making, it doesn't. You're, it's like always in your DNA. Okay. I feel that way about fabrics. And so these guys, they all started out as white silk. And then I did, like I said, all kinds of techniques in painting and foiling and dyeing and over dyeing and all that sort of thing. And I thought it would be fun if we talked about how to use fabric to embellish yes. things to make our jewelry. Yes. So one of the very easy, I did the easiest project of all times, is this beautiful cuff. And these are great Nun Design cuffs, and they have channels, mm -hmm. and they're pretty thin. And they're perfect, they're perfect for using fabric because right. you can just cut out the piece and then I just glued it in there. It was, I mean, it took no time Easy. at all. But one of the problems that I know I have, and I know all you will have when you are cutting into the fabric is, first of all, you better be sure because yeah. you only get one cut and you can't get that <laughs> fabric again and you almost have a heart attack and all of us go through it. Yeah, so you want true. to kind of measure first uh -huh. and be really careful. And so what I did was I do a pattern. I just did a paper pattern. It's just out of a piece of paper. And I traced it on there and I got my pattern. Now, if you're trying to put this on fabric to see what it's going to look like, it covers it up because mm -hmm. it's yeah. a piece of paper. So then you trace this on another piece of paper, cut out the middle, and you have, it's like a little viewfinder. And nice. you can put it on top of your fabric and figure out where you want to cut depending on what you like. So you go, oh, I like that part, or I like that part. And I can guarantee you the part that you're going to like is always <laughs> in the middle of the fabric piece. Right, right. never on the yes. edge. No, no. So this is kind of a, just a quick and dirty little way so you can kind of get that out and then use which piece that you like and go and make your project. It's a great idea because it works for anything. Mm -hmm. Like when anything. you have bezels, pendant, and things like that, you can use that method. Yeah, because you great. think you might know how it's going to look, but when you put this on top yes. of it and then you cut it out and that's the only one you get, it change. It could be a boohoo moment. <laughs> so we don't want that. <laughs> so Cynthia, show me what you made. Yeah, oh my gosh, so, so cool. Yes. So we were talking about fabrics and it was so funny because I was cleaning up my mess and I found a box. And then I realized it was a box where um, I bought fabrics from you about eight years ago. And I was so excited. I completely forgot about mm. these fabrics. And I keep telling mm. Crystal, those are mine. <laughs> we have a slight issue here because I'm the mothership of the fabric since I made them. And she's the adopted mother since she purchased them. And so the two of us are kind of going back and forth. So yes, they are hers. They are really hers. But it's they nice are. to see them again. Gorgeous, gorgeous mm. signing to, to show you. Uh, I love this one and the reason why I was so inspired by this one is because every little rectangle to me look like a piece of art and look like I can do a frame around that. Like it became a pendant. Mm -hmm. And that's why I did that piece <gasps> here. Oh, gosh. I just love that. 
I wish Christmas was sooner. <laughs> that would be a great Christmas present for me. Cynthia, that's genius. Thank you. It, I mean, the, the fabric really inspired me. Mm-hmm. So what I did is I glued the fabric on the batting. You know those mm-hmm. batting for quilting? Yeah, it looks like you used the thin batting. Yes, Some of the I quilters' did. battings are really thick, but you used the thin I one. I did. So that gives a, a, a little dimension nice. on your pendant. And then I put some felt behind, and I just embroidery and uh, sew the chain. <laughs> and I thought I, I don't want to put too many colors keep it simple mm-hmm. because I really wanted the fabric to show and, and I'm just amazed by, by oh, that. It's so gorgeous. Oh, I just love nice. it. And if you wanted to take it over the top, because I can't help but just think about it, you could always do embroidery on top of the fabric too. Yes. If you wanted to embroider even more beads or you could also do hot fix. Because mm-hmm. remember you're dealing with fabric here so you can hot fix on top of yes. that if you want to add a little bling. But this piece is exactly. just stunning. That's oh, really thank cool. You. Thank you. Oh, I love, I love it. it. And I had, I had some uh, little pieces of the fabric, and of course, I'm not gonna throw them away. So I decided to use this little channel pendant. Oh, and that's glue on it. so cute. And it's fun because even if the piece turn, you see the fabrics and you have different colors. And I just add those Swarovski. Beads to oh, just who would think to do that? That's so darling and really fun cute. to wear, I bet. Yes, mm-hmm. it is. And then I had another piece of fabric that I really love from you, oh. and it was this green oh. and black one. That is just... This one. So I did the same with the batting and, and the felt in the back, and this time I decided to add some chain. Such a good idea! I, I can't believe. Look at this piece, and then the movement when you're wearing it. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So it's 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 all about sewing. It's, yeah. You just sew everything together. Wow. So I I, I mean your fabric are so gorgeous that oh. it's really easy to f- put things together because well, it's so inspiring. Yeah, because I think that's what the colors and the whole piece speaks for itself. When yes. you're looking at fabrics, that's something to keep in mind too. If you're not a sewer, because a lot of jewelry mm-hmm. makers aren't sewers, right. and you're not used to working with fabrics, you go and if you can think of it as a little mini piece of jewelry, then yes. you can you know scale it down. Your eyes will look at fabrics differently. Mm-hmm. And yes. That's kind of why I invented my fabrics, was to always make beads out of them. So it was always for really small uh, pieces. but. I never did anything this spectacular. Oh, Thank you. Cynthia, I love it. And like you say, it was really hard to cut. Every time I cut, oh, but the pieces are beautiful. So mm-hmm. I'm really happy. Good so, idea. and then I made some pieces uh, with clothes that I find in a fabric store. Mm-hmm. You know, you go to the quilt department and always have those little square, and you can make a lot of jewelry with yes. just one square. So, just to show you, I did this one. This is a button. So if you do like a POD stitch band and you want to do your own button, what about just creating a fabric? I love that. So you, I glue the fabric and then this is a little clay flower that you made. Yeah, metal also. clay. And I added some seed beads. How easy and how cute. And nobody else has that button. Yes. It's like custom, one of a kind. That's the part I like about doing these things is yes. that nobody it's else has it. Oh, mm-hmm. I love that. Um, this one is a brooch. So I took the fabric and I glue first uh, the center and then I did some embroidery around it. Put some batting because I wanted to have a little um, like dimension b- to yes. it. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. And then I, I, I glue on inside the, the brooch. That's so something great. Can what do. a great idea and simple because yes. that probably didn't take any time. No, not at all. Mm. And then even more simple is this little pendant. It has a glass dome and um, it come this way, so you have like this little square. Yeah. And what I did is I took the ribbon and I went over the top of the ribbon and I was looking at which part do I want to cut and uh, to put in, the, in, in my oval That's pendant. That's such a good idea. So very easy to do. And then you just glue everything. That's together. nice. Well, and, and ribbon, it. don't forget about ribbons because yes. there are so many out there right now. They're very trendy. Yeah. And they fit in all of our little jewelry components, so they're perfect. Mm-hmm. So many colors, so many things. Oh, I love that. So, oh, yes, we had a good time. <laughs> we had a good time. Yeah, we could keep going on and on and on. <laughs> And then I think you have another piece oh, right. that you want to That's talk about. That's true. I forgot about oh. this one. This is Sherry, who uh, he's a quilter. 
and she did a, she made this little piece and she decided to embellish with some uh, little um, cabochon and charm That's so on it. sweet. Wall art. Beautiful wall art. That's oh, really look cute. Look at that. Yeah, everything's sewn on. So that's a great way to embellish as well, using fabrics and yes. beads and crystals. Mm -hmm. Oh, how cute. Well, you can tell we had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we inspired you, too, to have a great time and go either make your own fabrics or go out to the fabric store and see what they have. Yes. Turn things into some beautiful yes. pieces of jewelry. So Something. thanks for joining us here at Art Beats Cafe. We had all things fabric-y, fiber-y, <laughs> really fun. And don't forget to sign up for our newsletter and join us on our YouTube channel so you don't miss a single Art Beats Cafe. And as Cynthia, I always say, happy beating.